Hi, my name is Mark Addis. I'm from the Law Office of Mark Addis and Associates. My phone number is 410-752-4878, and I'm located in Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, clients often ask me, uh, how do I receive medical treatment in a workers' comp case, and how do I get my medical bills paid? Uh, the simple answer to that is, when you're injured on the job, you've got to file a workers' compensation claim. Technically, you have two years in which to file that claim, but the best uh, policy is to file one right away. Even if you don't file a claim, the insurance company is still responsible for your medical treatment as long as your claim is compensable um, and as long as the insurance company has accepted the claim. Uh, it's, it's prudent to get a lawyer so that you can make sure your bills get paid right away and to make sure your treatment gets authorized. Now, in order to get medical treatment, you don't have to have it authorized in Maryland, and you have a right to choose the doctor of your choice. I will let you know that not all doctors will accept workers' compensation, one. And secondly, while you don't have to get the treatment approved before going, most doctors, especially if they know it's workers' compensation, will not see you until it's been pre-approved by the insurance company. It's a good idea to get a lawyer so that they can work on, A, getting the claim filed and B, getting the medical documentation together so that the insurance company will approve the medical treatment. Now, lawyers usually will have doctors that will see without the pre-approval and you will find out when you're injured on the job if you just start calling around doctors on your own, nobody's going to see you unless they know how they're going to get paid. So it's helpful to have a lawyer so that he can send you somewhere and the doctors are worried about how they're getting paid afterwards. Once you go to the doctor, let's say you get or initially you go on your own and the insurance company doesn't want to pay the bill. Uh, you get a lawyer at that point. What's going to happen is the lawyer is going to send for the reports from the doctor. The insurance company is never going to pay the bill without a report. And in the report, it has to be in a certain format. The report has to say that you had an accident, the date you had it, how it happened, what medical examination was, what injuries you had, and whether the injuries were related to the accident. In addition, it's going to have to say what treatment was recommended and whether you were authorized time off from work. If the report doesn't have all that, the insurance company is not going to pay the bill. Once they get the bills, they're going to pay them pursuant to the Maryland fee schedule. So the doctor's not going to get whatever he wants. Maryland has a fee schedule for every procedure. The doctor is required to accept that, and he can't balance bill you. So if the doctor takes you on knowing it's a worker's comp case, he has to accept that. Now, a situation often comes up where the doctor wants to get an authorization. He can't get it from the, health, from the worker's comp insurance company, so he bills your health insurance, and then he makes you pay a copay. And then clients often ask, how do I get the copay back? Well, the answer to that is it's not going to be easy, but here's what has to happen. Once the workers' comp insurance company actually, let's say the health insurance company pays the bill, now we have to get the workers' comp insurance company to pay the bill. Once they pay the bill, even though it's already been paid once, the doctor then is required to refund the money back to the health insurance company, and the doctor is required to give you your deductible back. Doctors don't often want to do that, but they really have no choice, because once the health insurance company finds out there's workers' comp, and even if the workers' comp hasn't paid it, once they find out there is workers' comp, they're going to take the money back from the doctor, which they have a magical way of doing that. Uh, through the computers, they take it back. The doctor's now not paid, so at that point, the doctors are coming to you. We're not paid. At that point, you need to get the insurance company to pay. But when you pay the bill, you're not going to get reimbursed by the insurance company, or when you pay the deductible, you're not going to get reimbursed by the insurance company. It's going to have to come back from the doctor. Uh, please note that you will get paid for any mileage going to and from the doctors. You just have to keep track of the mileage. So if you went to physical therapy 10 times and it's related to the accident, you just do a list, the dates you went to therapy, when you went, how many miles it was round trip, and you get so much a mile, the amount per mile is on the workers' comp website, and then provide proof that you were at physical therapy on those dates, provide a map quest showing the mileage uh, round trip, and then the insurance company will reimburse you for the mileage. Um, that's how you get your medicals paid in a workers' compensation claim. There are times when the insurance company refused to pay them because they just don't think the treatment's related. 
then it will be necessary for you and your lawyer to go for a hearing in front of the Workers' Comp Commission to determine whether it's related or not. Often the insurance company will get an independent medical evaluation, which believe me isn't really independent. It's one of their hired guns who says it's not related. And then the Workers' Comp Commission will have to have a hearing to determine whether it's related or not. If they find it's related, they will order the insurance company to pay. Again, if you're having problems getting your medical bills paid in a workers' comp case, please call Mark Addis. My phone number is 410-752-4878. I'm located in Baltimore, Maryland. Thank you for listening.